Hello, St. Mary's, and welcome to Storytime with Mrs. G. Now, you've heard, you've heard me do a lot of stories through all of this, but we have had some guest readers, and we had my younger daughter who read My Monster Mama, and we had my older daughter who sang Puff the Magic Dragon. Well, Mr. Gorensic said, well, when's my turn? So, today we have a guest reader. It is none other than my producer, Mr. Gorensic. Take it away, Maximilian. The story I've chosen to read is one of my favorites. I used to read this to my girls when they were little. It's Little Rabbit Foo Foo, written by Michael Rosen and illustrated by, Ro by Arthur Robbins. And the story goes like this. Little rabbit foo-foo riding through the forest. Scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. And down came the good fairy and she said, Little rabbit foo-foo, I don't like your attitude. Scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'm going to give you three chances to change. And if you don't, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Little rabbit foo-foo riding through the forest, scooping up the wriggly worms and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy. And she said, Little rabbit foo-foo, I don't like your attitude, scooping up the wriggly worms and bopping them on the head. You've got two chances to change, and if you don't, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Well, he didn't listen. Little rabbit foo-foo, riding through the forest, scooping up the tigers and bopping them on the head. And down came the good fairy, and she said, Little rabbit foo-foo, I don't like your attitude, scooping up the tigers and bopping them on the head. You've got one chance left to change, and if you don't, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Well, our friend didn't listen. Little rabbit foo-foo, riding through the forest, scooping up the goblins. And bopping him on the head. Well, down came the good fairy. And she was mad. She was swinging that purse around. She said, little rabbit foo-foo, I don't like your attitude. Scooping up the goblins and bopping him on the head. You've got no chances left to change. So I'm going to turn you into a goon. And she did. And as we all know, the moral of the story is, hair today, goon tomorrow. I used to enjoy reading this to my daughters. Uh, not the least reason for which was it's a pretty short story. So it didn't take me that long to get, to get them to go to sleep. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, with that, I uh, wish you all a, uh, a happy Monday. And uh, I'm sure you're looking forward to seeing Mrs. G's story for, for Tuesday. Goodbye.